This is why I sleeve the cards in my games. One, I'm a bad shuffler and sleeving just makes it so much easier to shuffle and doesn't damage the cards. Two, I play a lot in pubs which have really sticky tables, so I need to protect them. Three, if I end up selling the game on, I hate the idea that I'm selling it in a bad condition. I've bought games before secondhand that had food on the cards and it's just miserable and I don't want to cause that for someone else. Four, I don't want to have to nag the people that I'm playing with to be careful with their food or drink when playing with the cards. It just creates this awkward atmosphere. I want it to be relaxed and if there's a spillage, then hopefully the cards are protected. If you're eating chicken, you better be finger licking. And if you think you're dipping, you must be f***ing kidding. And if I catch you slipping, your drink dripping whilst you're sipping, you'll be the owner of an ass I'm kicking. You think I'm OCD? OCD's nuts. Yeah, I'm OCD, obsessed about Cheeto dust. Five, it makes the cards easier to pick up. Six, if I really love a game, I want to know that I can still play it in 30 years time without it being all worn out or having to hope that in 30 years it will still be in print so I can buy a new copy. But sleeving is an expensive addiction and once you've started, it's very hard to stop. As a long time sleever, this is what I've learned. One, buy premium sleeves. The thin ones, the penny sleeves are a false economy. They feel horrible and they break so easily. With the thick sleeves, they shuffle better, they feel better, and if you get rid of a game, you can just take them off and reuse the sleeves on another game. I'll take you on a new direction in depth protection. You'll need both eyes open for the depth perception to see 100 microns of sleeve perfection. There's no exception. Every card must be saved. My whole collection enshrined in premium grade. But for the small selection for which sleeves aren't made, there'll be an execution of those who betrayed. Two, there is no perfect sleeve company. Fantasy Flight are thick at 100 microns, but they're all too long. They add this Bart Simpson haircut to all of your cards and means they'll never fit into any inserts and they just look stupid. Mayday sleeves are a better length, but I've found that they fall apart a bit easier than Fantasy Flight and I've had inconsistencies with the, the length and very slightly different between packs so that your decks won't line up. That's really frustrating. Then you've got Ultra Pro, which are great in length and quality, but they insist on adding this stupid hologram to all of them, which just gets in the way of the card art. But recently I've been using Paladin sleeves from NSKN Games. They're 90 microns, so it's slightly thinner than Fantasy Flight, but you do get more of them in a pack and you can get them cheaper by buying them in bulk from their Kickstarters. So possibly a good alternative. Three, you have to become a sleeve size expert. It's not just one size fits all. You've got mini European, mini American, American, European, normal card size, seven wonders size, Dixit size, and loads of others if you get deep into it. And it can get more detailed than that. If you've got an American size card from Fantasy Flight, then Fantasy Flight sleeves are gonna be the best. But for example, the game Robinson Crusoe, a very similar size, but they just don't quite work in the Fantasy Flight ones for me. There's too much room. That's where I use the Mayday Chimera sleeve size. And they're also good for certain Z-Man games. So <laughs> I just got this whole wealth of pointless knowledge that I know about card sleeves and which publishers like different sleeves. My special tool for checking a sleeve is this, but there's actually a great geek list on Board Game Geek that lists all different games and tells you exactly what sleeves you need and which uh, sleeve makes you're gonna need to buy and then how many sleeves you need to buy. So you can order the right amount of packs when you order the game. It's really useful, I've put a link to it in the description. Some games use unusual card sizes, but more and more you can find them. Mayday and Swan Pan Asia do a lot of very specific sizes for certain games. I tend to find that I have to buy those from Germany. And then Paladin, they have about 17 different sizes. They do one specifically for Kingdom Death Monster, for example. So you can find them. You've just got to do a bit of research, possibly pay some extra postage. And you generally have to switch loyalty from maybe your the sleeves that you usually like. Four, I used to go crazy and sleeve everything as soon as I got it before I even played it, but now I've tried to rein it in a bit. It gets really expensive, but also it just takes a lot of time. So I don't sleeve anything where it can't fit back in the box. Sometimes I ditch the insert, but if it's tiny German card boxes, it's not happening. Any party game that has loads and loads of cards and you're not really handling that much, they don't need sleeving. And also I've started to play a game a couple of times, check if I like it first, 
and then sleeve it because if I'm going to get rid of it quite quickly then I've just wasted a lot of time sleeving it and then I'm going to immediately unsleeve it. Five, don't buy your sleeves from Amazon. They're always way too expensive, like double the price that they should be. Get them from your friendly local game store or online game store. Generally, every game store sells Fantasy Flight or Mayday sleeves. I like the stores that sell all the really specific sizes and I really like Games Law in the UK for that. A poem by Jamie Buckley. Girls marvel at my legendary deck. It's so big I struggle to keep it all sleeved. But there's a day I'll never forget when I found myself bereaved. This bird Louise wanted to play with me without it sheathed. I told her that I didn't agree with what she was trying to conceive. But when she got on her knees and slid them off with ease, I couldn't resist her pleas. And my cards were exposed to the breeze for all men to see. I felt relieved, released from the shackles, finally free. But what happened next I could hardly believe. This girl who had been such a tease closed her eyes and let out a sneeze. It was carnage. My cards were diseased. The ruthless mucus of this Judas Louise. Stabbed in the back by the cutest Brutus I've seen. Let this be a lesson that all of you heeds. Wear protection when doing your deeds. And check your partner for STDs, because you don't want a shuffling transmitted disease. I'm running a competition to win $75 worth of accessories from meeplesource.com. The secret word for this video is played. Keep watching the rest of this series to find out how to win. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel to see more videos in this series about board game accessories and a whole bunch of board game reviews and other stuff. I'm John Perkis. Thanks for watching.